So today we will see like uh, one way and two way slab design in uh, Stat Pro. So for that I am just going to continue with the new project as usual space model. So I am just going for an open structure wizard finish. So here I am just going for frame models and day frame. So drag and drop. Here we can able to modify the length with height. So length I am just going to consider as 9. So width I am considering as 8. So height I am just going to consider only 2 floor. So which means like 4 plus 3 I am just going to consider as a 7. So now in length I am just going to have only one base. In height I am just going to have two. So here it should be like a four and then three. Okay so totally it should be like a seven meter. And here in width I am just going for a number of base along with I am just going for 2 so which means like 4 and 4 equally like a spaced click OK and then apply so this is what our structure looks like and after I am just going to make uh, some beams over uh, in between this portion that we can uh, do after transferring the model So I am just going to, here you can able to see insert node option. So I am just going for midpoint, click OK and here also midpoint, click OK. Now the nodes not displayed, you can click shift K. So shift K for displaying nodes and shift N for displaying node number. Now I am just going to take uh, this option, so first one, so connecting 19 and then 20 node, so we are getting one beam in between. So again we can able to do the same here or we can able to translational repeat. So better we can just uh, select an insert node, add midpoint and then click OK, see now we got 21, 22. Now you can use a node to node beam method like this. See now we have like this. Now we can able to make use of uh, display node to node distance. It is like a 9 meter. So it is like a 4 meter. It is also 4 meter. Which means you can just go in isometric view and later we can able to check from here to here 4.5 meter and then 4.5 meter and here 4 meter and this is like a 3 meter so we can just remove it by clicking this icon okay now what we can see like uh, here for this portion it will be like a one way slab and for this portion it will be like a two way slabs so since it is like 9 cross 4 so the 9 divided by 4 divided by 4 which means like 2.25 will come so one way slab we need to consider and here 4.5 divided by 4 it will be like 1.12 something then it is like a two way slabs. So, so we can just go for support otherwise we can click here also for a support page. So support page create a fixed support select that go to front view assign to selected nodes so you can able to check in a 3d view now we can just go for property page where you can able to define the members rectangle 0.3 cross 0.3 and then thickness plate thickness of 0.15 now we have only the member, we don't have plates. So what we can do means 
you just select the this and then this so you can check in isometric view then we can able to click this option fill floor grid with plates so six new plates were created so this we can able to put assign to view now we can able to assign the plate thickness assign to view now we can just click a 3d render so it will be like this so this is like one way slab and these two are two way slabs so now we can able to go for loads and definition by clicking this icon so this is like a specification page so load page here you can click this icon where you can able to go for load case detail add first as usual date load and then live load so i'm just going for date load add so you can able to add and then click this assign to view so even the slab beams all the sulfate will be considered so live load i'm just going for add i'm just going for member load where i'm just putting 13.8 for a brick load or we can put the 19.5 something like that and i'm just going to add and also floor load so floor load or plate load since we have a plate we can also go for plate load but it could be better we can just go for floor load so first we will just assign this brick load for the beams so select the beam cursor and then select the beams so if you want you have brick loads inside also you can select everything so in that case we can select everything and then we can just go for assign to selected beams now we can just go for live load for floor loads so minus 2.5 so i'm just going for 0 0 0 and then here 0 so here it should be 7 here it should be 9 it should be 4 okay where we need to have one way distribution and then add so see we can able to see the one way distribution see here we have only one way distribution now again i am just going for a floor load minus 2.5 so from here 004 so minimum 4 and then here 798 so 7 9 and then 8 so here it should be 8 and it is like a two way distribution no need to tick it add okay see we are getting two way distributions and we can able to confirm in a top view see we have two way slab and also one way slabs now after this we can just go for load combination so i'm just going for a 1.25 factor now and then add so 1.25 of uh, dead load and also for a uh, light load now analysis and print and all add analysis run analysis so zero error zero warning better stay in uh, modeling mode now we can able to double click and we can able to see the deflections shear bending everything now we can just go for concrete design design concrete now i am just going to consider so bs8007 so this code i am going to consider select parameter and you can remove everything only compressive strength of concrete 
is enough and fy main this two is enough okay and define parameter i am going to consider m25 fy main 415000 okay this we can just go for assign to view and you can go for assign to view now we can go for define uh, parameters and then commands so we have beam so column element and also take off so design beam assign to view no design beam we should not assign to view only for the beams we should do what we can do means like we can delete it now we can just go for comments and then design beam again so design beam we need to select only these portions these are all the beams so only to assign to selected beams and then design column select the columns and then assign to selected columns so element so take a plate cursor select all the plates selected plates so now we also did the concrete design only we need to analyze again so we can just go for view output file as we don't have any error or warning so now we can just go to results where we can able to see concrete design see for example column number 3 so the size and also fy415 uh, m25 area of steel required 428 square mm mm square which means like four number of 12 mm bars needed so like this we can able to see the column details so it differs for different column for example here eight number of 25 mm bars has it is like area of steel required more 3836 mm square this is for column then we also can go for beams but here it is like having element so where we can able to see like a 12 mm bar 16 mm bar 20 mm bar so three kind of bars they are suggesting but uh, area still required 359 so which means like uh, less than 12 mm bar which means 10 mm bar or 8 mm bar is more than enough as 12 mm bar it's still 565 area still coming so we can just go for uh, 8 mm or 10 mm bars center to center of 150 or 200 so here it is like suggesting 200 we also having cover 20 mm cover on the detail section aa so depends on this diagram we also getting element design so without plugin we can able to do concrete design within the chat pro by using like a british or american standards as we don't have this kind of uh, a uh, detailed uh, output for indian standard codes only we can able to get by using other codes other international codes so all the details we can able to see from here see 8 mm bar 10 mm bar 12 mm bar 16 mm bar all the four combinations they are just showing here so we can just go for control f beam so we can able to see the beam design also see the area of steel required and then everything bar information three number of 25 mm bar six number of 8 mm bar like that so all the beam details column details slab details we can able to see from this output even the spacings and the shear values how many numbers this is for us stirrups everything we can able to see shear 
see now here after closing the stat output we can just double click and you can able to see the concrete design see here everything clearly mentioned 32 mm number three numbers needed at 252 mm center to center and here like a 21 numbers of 8 mm number center to center for stirrups So for columns also we can able to see so like four number of 16 mm bus something like that if it is not clear here you can able to get from the output also for this beam so it is different like this we can able to see